Gelenkirchen Air Base in Western Germany hosts one of the world's most unusual air forces. 14 huge aircraft based on the classic four-engine Boeing 707 airliner, each hefting a disc-shaped radar dome resembling a rotating pizza platter. Amusingly, these jets are officially registered to Luxembourg, a tiny country without any air force. Indeed, the Boeings belong to no one country's air force, though they are usually commanded in turns by a German and U.S. general. Instead, the aircraft are owned by NATO as part of the NATO Airborne Early Warning and Control Force, with two squadrons with crews drawn from 16 member states. Belgium, the Czech Republic, Denmark, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Spain, Turkey, and the United States. In 2018, Canada announced it would also begin dispatching crews again for NAEWC. The NAEWC has been operational since June 1982, when it started with 18 aircraft in three squadrons. Currently, the United States and Germany pay two-thirds of the force's expenses. The E-3A AWACS aircraft, aptly named the Century, is designed to provide 360-degree radar coverage in a nearly 250-mile radius, meaning that a single plane flying at 30,000 feet can surveil over 120. 000 square miles of airspace. That means just three E-3s can form an unbroken wall of radar coverage across Europe. Because the Centuries are, of course, at an elevated vantage, they're also better for spotting fast. Low-flying aircraft and missiles that ground-based radars would struggle to spot through ground clutter until too late. Ground-skimming supersonic fighter bombers especially posed a threat during the Cold War when the E-3s were first procured. Today, new threats E-3s may be expected to contend with include drones both small and large. Stealth fighters and more sophisticated short and intermediate range ballistic missiles which may see a renaissance in the post-INF treaty era. NATO has also arranged facilities to forward deploy its E-3s to bases in Konya, Turkey, Action, Greece, Trapani, Italy, and even Orland, Norway. France and the United Kingdom also sometimes contribute their E-3D and E-3F aircraft to support the force. The standard 16-person crews on board the NATO sentries can also coordinate the operations of nearby aircraft in response and patch them in on what it's seeing. This not only helps fighter pilots see more airspace than their onboard radars can cover, but it can sometimes enable them to turn off their active radars to better conceal their location from enemy sensors. NATO has proactively deployed the E-3s in support of member states. In 1999, they helped coordinate NATO jets that shot down five Serbian MiG-29 fighters during the Kosovo War. After the 9-11 attacks, NATO E-3s flew patrols off U.S. airspace and were then sent to Afghanistan to provide flight control support of air operations. In 2016, they were dispatched to Turkey in 2016 to provide better air defense coverage and also provided surveillance support and flight control for the anti-ISIS coalition. And recently, NATO's E-3 fleet has been especially active around Baltics, Polish, and Romanian airspace to counter Russia's own increased air activity as tensions rise between Moscow and NATO. Time for an update. The Nooks E-3A aircraft are original production models ordered way back in 1978. However, NATO has upgraded the jets four times between 1988 and 2018. With that last aircraft updated in December 2018 featuring upgrades to analog flight controls with new colored digital glass cockpit displays and improved flight traffic control capabilities. In a meeting of foreign ministers in Brussels November 2019, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg authorized $1 billion more in funding to develop and implement a final update. This is a 33% increase over an earlier speculated figure of $750 million. It speculated the final upgrade could involve incorporating more internet connectivity and replacing the aircraft's dated TF-33 turbofans with more modern engines that would allow them to fly higher, thereby extending radar range, and with greater fuel efficiency.